Okay, this video may be a little bit out of order if you've been watching the uh, 1411 playlist. I'm going to install Atom on a Mac system, on an OS 10 Mac OS uh, type system. I think I'm running Catalina at this moment, the uh, latest version of Mac OS. So I'm already signed in to my GitHub account, the one that I'm using for this class, 1411. Uh, github.io etc. I'm going to open up a new tab and visit atom.io just as uh, I did in the previous video except it was for Windows I'm going to do this with a Mac just download and this will be the latest version and my um, my speed here is a little slower than others so I'm going to pause and wait a minute and come back when it's done Okay, so it's finished downloading, and uh, I'll just click on the carrot here and tell it to show me the download in the finder. It's a zip file, so I just double click to expand. It will expand a uh, folder called Atom Mac. I do believe it'll be right next to the zip file. And the Atom program is right there. So. I can choose to double click and run it here, but let me be a little bit more organized about this. I'll go to the window, actually the Go menu, and tell it to open up the Applications folder. There's my Applications. And, well, it closed the other one, the Download, so I'll click on the carrot again and show me in the Finder, there's Atom. And I'll just drag the application onto my application folder. Make sure that it doesn't hit one of uh, full or any folders that you have in your application so it's actually just on its own. And uh, then to run I'll double click. should give me, uh, it might give you an error or a message. Yeah this one it's an application downloaded from the internet. If you have a system older than Catalina, you might have to right click on it and tell it to open so that you avoid this message, but it should allow you to just start. And we have a very similar uh, look that we have over in, uh, in the Windows application. Uh, got the consent there once again that's up to you if you want to send you such data I'll close that window um, links to the Atom website and just like we have before we're going to uh, use the version control with git and uh, let's open up the github panel and uh, we're going to clone an existing github repository I'll copy mine it's it's already loaded from github.com slash username slash username dot github dot io. I'll select all that and copy it. Bring it over to my Atom. Just paste it there. And it's already selected the directory for me inside the user's folder, inside my personal folder. It's created a directory called GitHub and a new one also with the name clicking clone will then... Uh, download the uh, files into uh, the Mac uh, but not before logging in. It's it's a public folder so it already knows what the folders are but it doesn't really have full access yet until I actually log in and the same uh, process as we did with the PC I'm going to visit the website and uh, get the uh, token just click on copy token come back to Atom and paste pressing command V log in and uh, now I'm logged in I see that my repository is up here uh, I can view the contents of these files the only one that's got any content right now should be the index let me close some of these so welcome can go I uh, just need my repository, my file list over here, and my code. And uh, just to test this, like I said, since these were already on the repository, they were just downloaded. Let me make uh, a simple change. 
if I go to the repository currently week one has an empty file just like all the other folders do there's nothing there if I try to edit it's a blank file so I'll just put in a message here in github and just say hello world and uh, commit this file go back to my home my root folder for the repository get back to Adam now I know that I just made a change so and I'm already logged in so if I wanted to see what's going on back there, I'm going to click on fetch. And it tells me that there's one pull request. Basically, I made a change in the GitHub directory. So uh, it knows that it doesn't have the most current version down here. I'll right click and tell it to pull the request. So if I click on index, there's the hello world that happened online. Uh, just to uh, complete this uh, video, um, I'll double, I'll change this again and do uh, some sample code that I'll erase in a little bit. Uh, but it'll just be an H1 that says "Hello World." Keep on misspelling "Hello World." Exclamation point. Close the H1, and then finally a paragraph. Just say 2020. What a wonderful year, hasn't it been? And um, now that that's done, same process as the PC. Uh, I can save, file, save. I look at my Git notification. I'll click or double or click on the file just to see what the changes were. I basically deleted the original text, changed it with some code. I can now double click it to stage it and commit to master commit the file again and uh, click commit now we can push the one file and this might take once again 30 seconds a minute I'm not sure but uh, it should be on its way commit the file again I just saw the comment right here and there's my index with the code. I can now uh, also see what this looks like on the web page. Something a high school class taught me, if you just highlight the file name here and you right click and tell it to go to, it will actually open it up for you. So world again, um, in the next video, I'll show you how to do the uh, one of the first assignments using Atom to, uh, to uh, tag a full page using uh, this program.